Hey guys, this is my makeup tutorial. So after washing and toning my face, I like to spray it with this mystifier. It's rose water and lavender water. You spritz it all over the place. It's amazing. And then I hydrate with my special elixir. It's got loads of essential oils in and I just do three little drops because it is quite oily. Um, and then you just rub it in. I like to do it a lot under my eyes and massage this area because that's my problem area. And just put on my lips, massage it into the forehead, my eyebrows. Just really, really massages can stimulate those cells, baby. It's good. Okay, and that's done. So after prepping the skin, I like to start off with my eyebrows just to let this, all this oil and the mist just set in. Um, I use the Dior pencil stick with the little brush on the other side. Um, it's really fine, it's like a really tiny little little thing which is really nice because you can make it look like hairs. So I just put it in like so. You gotta get it all nice and even. Brush it in. Don't put too much. You don't want to make it so obvious that you've just drawn on your eyebrows. I mean, you can see the difference, but it's very subtle, which I really like. Now that my eyebrows are done, I move on to my under eye area, which is my problem area, like I said before. Um, I've got really dark circles, and it's not fun. So what I use is a color corrector before I put on my concealer. This is an orange color corrector. It takes away blue pigment under the eyes. So what I do is I take a tiny bit like this because this is a very strong pigment. And I just put it over here like that. And I blend it with my fingertip very lightly. So now I look like a funny orange raccoon, which is fine because we are going to cover it this baby this is my favorite so this is the YSL and I just do it looks like a lot when I do this I like to take it all the way up here it like highlights the area just click it off again put it like that I know it looks like a lot but I blend it in quite nicely it looks fucking weird I know and I put some here because I've got a little bit of redness going on there so basically this is what you're going to look like before everything's done. So I'm going to now rub it in with my fingertips. When it's cold I use like a beauty blender but honestly I don't know where it is. I think my dog may have eaten it but whatever. Fingers work just as well because they are warm and it blends easier when your fingers are warm. Just lightly pat it. Don't like really go at it otherwise it's just gonna come off take it down a little triangle oh there makeup is really not a beautiful thing to put on because of the faces that you end up pulling are just ridiculous okay so you can see how much better that looks already i don't look like a raccoon anymore and now the next step is foundation I don't like to use a lot of foundation because I have freckles. I like to see them. So I just do it to add a little bit of life to my skin tone. Because sometimes I wake up in the morning and I look like a zombie. And I know we all have those mornings. So I use the MAC. Um, this color is called C4. And you know I generally use it all year round. I'll lighten it with another color if it gets a bit too dark. So you put it over there. And I've got this amazing brush, which I bought yesterday from the body shop. It's their vegan range. These are man-made fibers. They don't come from little bunnies butts. So I just put a little bit under my eyes here. Because obviously it's a lot wider than my face or my chin. I get a little bit red here sometimes. Um, especially when I'm hot. And you just blend, 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 blend. Over here. See what I mean about pulling faces it's not makeup's not <laughs> a very attractive thing to put on especially when you're doing like eyeliner 
So you see, I literally only use that little blob all over my face. It just adds like a tiny bit of color and radiance to my skin. And it's also really, it's like a really runny base, which is so nice. I don't like that thick stuff that just makes you look like a mannequin. So you can see this is very natural. So once the face is all set, we're going to use a contouring stick. This one is my favorite. I got it at um, Marks and Spencer's. It's the Rosie Huntington Whiteley range. I really like it because it's very subtle. I don't put it on a lot, just a little bit, a little bit over there and on the jaw, just to you know make you look a little bit more gaunt. I guess I don't know. It just looks great. I really like it. This is also. Um, one of the brushes from the body shop I just went and I got like a whole whole new set and I love it they are so soft mm. it's actually really weird trying to see what I'm doing through a camera so excuse me if I'm making like funny faces while I'm squinting a little bit so you can see also very subtle but it makes a huge difference but I love it and now for the eyes, um, I use the same contouring stick which I used for my cheeks and around my face. I really like this color and I like creaminess. I don't really like powders on my face. So you just put a tiny bit on the brush. Just subtle, you don't want to overdo it. Like, you know, especially if it's just like a day-to-day -day look. Just a tiny bit is really nice. I really like it. Yeah. On this side, change up the brush so we can get underneath the eye. Still the same. This is like a little tiny brush. It's so nice and it's really solid as well. Just put a little bit there. See, now I'm squinting. <laughs> I look like a retard. Okay, don't squint. See what I mean about the face? Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, and that's that's enough for the eyes, I think. And now for my favorite part, which is highlighter. I use the Chanel one. Um, they've just come out with a new one, which I really want, but gotta finish this one first. I've got too many products. I'm trying to be a good girl. So I don't like to use too much of it because I don't know. Then you'll look like those Instagram girls who just like lay that shit on everywhere and you can like see them coming from a mile away so just a tiny bit get it off there dab it onto your hand you can see it's a very slight shimmer and then you just put it up there on the top of your cheekbones so nice i really love this stuff like even if i'm like in the biggest rush and i don't have time to put on makeup i will put this stuff on my face I like to put a little bit on the forehead here, bring it down to the nose, a little bit. Also, always blend with your fingers, especially if they're warm, it's so nice. A little bit under there, and a tiny bit on the chin. So this whole area is highlighted, your T-zone is highlighted. Sometimes, if I'm feeling, you know, whatever. I'll put some up here like that just a tiny bit see very 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 subtle look and now to complete this look a tiny bit of mascara and I'm telling you a tiny bit don't layer it on we don't want tarantulas on the eyes very subtle like even wipe it off on here and just tiniest amount like from the root and then lightly over the lashes. Just a tiny seed. It's such a like subtle difference, but it's really, really nice. So for the very last step, I like to set my eyebrows with this little mascara brush and hairspray. So I just spray a little bit onto the thing and then very gently just brush it up and bring it down to 
get that like nice shape and it doesn't lose shape because I find when I sweat eyebrows just kind of go whichever way they want to so this holds them into place so it's great if you're going to like Bali or something and you can't wear any makeup there just you know do your eyebrows for this natural look I mean you can go bold with an amazing lip but I don't really like wearing a lot of lipstick um, mostly because I have no idea how to keep it on like I've tried the whole like lip liner then the lipstick over it but for some reason it always comes off or goes onto my front teeth um, which is not great so I just used this guy this is by Elizabeth Arden it's their eight hour range and just take it a little bit it's got like a, sl a slight tint to it it's really nice and it stays and it's super hydrating it's my favorite and it comes in another color like a red wine color yeah and that's it this is how to achieve a natural look I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned some good tips and if you got any other questions please message me and I will put it onto my blog